Hello all, this is D Swank. I am in Ark Survival Evolve, the last day of the Halloween event. Did you already use up all your assault rifle ammo? Yes. Oh wow. And I am hunting a Alpha Rex. I guess if we can get an angle to headshot it, it might have been better. Might have. I still have a bunch of shotgun ammo too, so... Nah. I'm seeing some more permanent blood stains on the, uh, um, I don't know if that's just because of how much shots I've been putting into it or not, but... It's down! There we go. Oh, Watch wow, out that's for a lot. There are a lot of Carnos. Yeah, there are. Alright, so I guess we can get on freedom and go slaughter them. Alright. What's left down here? I can't see. There, no more rattle music. All right, now we've got all the costumes. And I leveled up. Nice. Now for the big one. Yep. How's this gonna work? Well, I was planning on spawning it not on the uh while fly while I was flying, not while uh on top of Wetzel. Yeah. Mm, yep. Yeah, it will spawn on top of you, so you have to move. Alright, what he was asking about, and I'll be right back and just... I'm recording, Fook, I forgot to tell you. And I was pushing the push to talk while just generally talking. But yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the recording real quick. That would explain a lot of things. Alt tab the to the command, and so I know the uh, Dodo Rex summon command. I'm also going to change the time of day to night, so um, I'll be back momentarily. Actually, let me save our Quetzal from these bats first. I'm coming after the bats to help. Oh, we killed that one. Yep. And the bats on Carnot Island are so pointless. They're just a nuisance. I can't even tame them because they're always flying in the air. Yeah. The only way you could actually tame them is inside the caves. Yeah, as long as they get stuck on the ceilings. Or the walls or something like that where they can't get away. Mm hmm That stupid bug repellent. Alright. And I'm back. I've summoned the Dodo Rex. No, it's just standing there, nonchalant. Yeah. Not giving a crap. 
I think it might be stuck in a tree. Oh, nope, oh nope, there it goes. Nope, nope. I'm gonna lose. Once you attack it, the Halloween music goes away. Hmm. There's breathing fire. Yep. It's really bugging out though. You know the feathers that they've done on this would look awesome on the Argentavis. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it's being stupid and just getting stuck. I seriously don't think I'm hurting it. I think it's recovering faster than you can up your near its head. I wonder why it's just not moving. I don't know. I'm a little afraid of the Godzilla fire. It may be not moving. Well, I mean, the Alpha Rex that we ended up summoning just a bit ago didn't have movement issues. Yeah. I don't know what's wrong with this one. I wonder if it's because it's not supposed to be around during the day. Yeah, maybe. I could try and force tame it. That could be interesting. From what I've heard, though, there's no way to put anything in its inventory, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. So, I mean, we can force tame it, it will die. Because it'll be hungry. So we don't have to worry about it anymore. I think I'm gonna do it. Okay. And for y'all watching, I'll be right back once... Yeah, if we're gonna kill this thing normally, we would have to have turrets and other nonsense. I don't know why, it's just not moving. It's really weird. I got angry. It's because I'm I'm standing. I'm on, not on my bird. You could use the uh, God mode cheat and go down there, force tame it, and switch off God mode. Good idea, Fook. Good idea, Fook. That way we can just get rid of it. Just in case I screwed up that cheat, I'm gonna put everything on, um, my, uh, on the bird, my bird. Yeah. I think we got a bat flying towards us. No, never mind. Let me 
Man, I can spin fast. It's been forced to Mount it. Go, I'm gonna go wreck some face with it real quick. Is the old click the And if this thing doesn't go away, I'll just keep it off to the side and base. Because I did get a level on it, and I didn't think that normally it gets levels. No, not normally, but you can level it. If you force him. <laughs> kind of silly. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Whatever you do, don't increase its HP. It will not. You would not have ever have enough food to satisfy it ever again. Really? Yeah. Because increasing its HP gives it like twenty thousand more HP, and it tries to recover all that. There's just not enough food, so you can't harvest with it. it. Makes it really hard. Yeah. Let me get off real quick and take a look. You can't put food in it, right? Okay. Okay. Hmm. So this thing does have an inventory. Interesting. I'll take it into the ocean and try to kill some megalodons. Sucks at swimming, so I don't know how that works. Yeah, it sucks at swimming. Okay. It's stuck on a megalon. <laughs> and I'm gonna drown. At least you already removed all your gear. Yep. Oh, it follows me up. Yeah. I really like the feather effect on this thing. I'm just really hoping we can tame it during the turkey event. Yeah. It looks like it's... When you're running with it, the way its feet move, it looks like it's just sliding all over the place. <laughs> Yeah, it does do that. I guess it tr uh, tries to run too fast or something. It's weird. The animation is probably too fast for it to Alright. Yeah. 
Since I can't harvest, it makes it really hard to get food back. Yeah. It just does way too much damage. I mean, I killed a level 80 Carno in one bite. That's completely absurd. The only big problem with the Alpha Rex is that they can go so fast. So they can push you back. Just out of curiosity. Oh. Did you even take damage? I don't see any blood. I'm already healed. Uh, I Rex is too OP. Good lord. I don't know how you should. The sheer volume of levels I got from that. <laughs> well, level 56 alpha, so. Yeah. The way they run just tickle me. I like how far the bats fly after they die. That was, yeah, that is enjoyable after as annoying as the bats are. The melee damage does not increase the damage of the fire, though. I think there's a static 2,000 damage, I believe. Over 10 seconds. Depending on how much fire it gets hit with. Did I set the Rex on fire? I hope I did. I don't hope I did. No, I didn't see it set on fire. Good lord, the, the size difference between them. <laughs> yeah, they get to be closer. But yeah, that thing is just huge. I 
I this thing may not die. I don't know how the healing stuff is. Going. Oh, just starve it. Take off all the food, uh, give it a level, and it will die. It will? Yeah. Let one next level up, take off all the food, and then level up to HP, and it should die. Right. It might take a while, but it should. Alright. That's what I'll do. I don't think that is how it works. I don't think so either. I just think it'd be funny. Well, at that point, can't you just stick the tag on it? Yes, but I absorb the heart as well, which I think is part of making me stronger thing. Right. I don't think it would. I don't think it works that way. Oh well. Oh, I'm almost positive it doesn't. Work. What level have you gotten this thing to? Thirty-five. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. It's almost leveled. <laughs> He's gonna slaughter a few more things. It doesn't jump. Oh dang it, where's freedom? I just realized that freedom's no longer on the platform. following me now. I'm gonna settle it on the safe island. Okay, I got a level. Okay, nothing in there. Help. You should see it's food plummet and Yeah, it's food is plummeting pretty quick. And once the food finally plummets, its HP will start to plummet. Okay. Because it cannot recover all that HP. forever. Slow death. 
I think. Wait, it's not. It's not starving? <laughs> no. Its healing factor is too great. Well, it looks like it didn't take damage now, though. It stopped healing. Which means that we just leave it on this island. It should die on its own eventually. Come on, birds. You can... Yeah, I'm still riding, that's why it isn't attacking everything. The HP is slowly going down. Oh, so slowly. Can't move. I'm just gonna jump out. Wait, no, I'll probably die from the Argentines. I'm here, I can pick you up. Argentines are here. And it'll be. And it'll be. And it'll be. Maybe just set this thing to passive. Oh, I didn't manage to set it to passive yet. I guess I'll do it now. Yeah, it should be passive now. So, we can just set it in front of a T-Rex and it should die on its own. It's following us, so let's get it to a T-Rex. Yeah, there's one right there. Oh, back behind us. Alright, then we just tell it to stop following, and it should be good. It's still behind us? Pretty good. Oh, it's pretty good. <laughs> stuck on the island. Or on the rock. Stuck on the rock. Oh. There we go. Oh, two Rexes. Oh! Okay, this should go a lot faster, hopefully. I'm just gonna tell it to stop following. There we go. Now it should die a slow death. The death of being killed by chihuahuas. <laughs> Basically. Oh man, it's so gigantic. I know. I mean, the T-Rexes can walk under its tail. Ah, that's crazy. Get back to Quetzal and that level 20 Alpha Rex is trying to climb out of the ocean. <laughs> I don't even know where that thing went. It just vanished. Yeah, that, that just baffles me. I think it did go into the ocean. Well, it can't swim, so it will not swim well. So I have no idea where it went. And later on, we go on a diving expedition, and it's just down there killing a Mosasaur. Alright. Oops. Well, uh... Oh, Carno following us. There we go. Carno gone. Well, I think with that, um, interesting little, uh, experience, that, uh, we've pretty much seen all the, uh, bits and pieces for this, uh, for Halloween stuff, with the exception of the hats. I think we can go make a hat right now, since we have the costumes. Yeah, I just don't have an extra Stego costume, and I don't really want to give up the Stego costume. Uh. And since I, at least I spent 
mean, every time we're looking for the Alpha, I mean, the, the Dodo Rex, we're also looking for the, uh, uh, the Alpha Rex and Alpha Carno, and we didn't find them the entire week, except one in your game. And the Alpha Carno in mine was there at the beginning, and so it didn't give me the skin. Yeah. did bring me in earlier a... Now we just gotta wait for the next update to come in. Yeah, the gigantic... Okay. Yeah. I am gonna look at these dodos over here. <laughs> See if there's any females you want. Yeah. I've captured one. What is it? female or not, but... I'm heading towards the one I think is the level 80. Yep, got the level 80. So, uh, what I was saying before I, the Dodo Expedition, I did cheat in a level 20 uh, bone Ronto to kill. I didn't just want to cheat in the skin, I actually wanted to kill whatever I was getting the skin off of. Um, and then immediately after killing it, I come around the corner back there at for um, the island uh, and right around the corner is a level 80, no, 68 Bone Bronto. And the one I had spawned in was a 20. I had also spawned in, no, an 8. It I spawned in an 8. The spawned in Me uh, Alpha Rex was a 20. That. I dropped the dodo somewhere, I don't know where it went. I dropped... Uh, I found it. I mean, there's only two dodos outside in my base right now, so... Nah. I guess I'm gonna go punch this thing dead. Okay. I was gonna trank guard him. Oh, we can do that then. I was afraid we'd be too high level and kill them. Yeah. Okay, one of them's down. Uh, where are you? Where's the other one? Do you know where the one you were carrying ran off to? Um... 
it was here a moment ago. I don't see it now. What the heck? It, it, there's one right over here, among the dilos. Yeah, that's it. Oh no, it died. The tank dart was too powerful. Well, that sucks. Yeah, we should just punch it. Yeah. Well, my other one didn't die. Uh, it is level 80. Yeah, it's got about three times as much HP. I think you might have accidentally headshot the other one or something. Yeah, I was trying to shoot it in the, the chest. Well, anyway. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this. Uh, you've seen the end of me finding the, you know, I, why, why am I ending it now? Um, I don't have a stego, so I can't show off the stego skin yet, but we're going to put that on max. And then, uh, Bone costumes on freedom. But, uh, I put one of the costumes on uh, Max. <laughs> Ooh, they're back over here. Frog decided to attack me for no reason. It thinks you can eat your chitin armor. Oh, wait, you have hard armor, don't you? Well, I was attacking the T-Rex. I was riding the T-Rex. You might have stepped on it then. Nah. And the bone costumes on Sally. Those actually look pretty good. The costume? Yeah. It's also kind of nice since we're pretty much used to seeing the dinos as skeletons anyway. I almost screwed up that um, Dodo was almost completely uh, awake. No. <laughs> I also think when I, because I dumped some extra, um, uh, narcotics in the dodo trying to make, because it was so close to being unconscious, um, I may have over narked the dodo. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it does anything to it, it just caps out. Yeah. It would be funny to have a stone dodo, though. Maybe. Well, anyway, with that, this is where I'm going to go ahead and end this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, later on today, the uh, 
a Gigantosaur patch should drop, and I'm going to uh, record us hunting that for a tame. Because, yes, we need to tame it. Um, oh! Uh, yeah, I'll do that, and any of the mods I'm using, I'm going to spotlight in the next episode as well. So, okay. Until then, bye bye